All right, let's see. Grab my magnet or my level. Sucker's actually level, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Let me take that back off. And we'll be back again. Now we gotta work on the front. I do not know how we're gonna do the front. I mean, I got a couple points here I can grab. Could be what we, we have to do. See if I have any more of that steel left. Alright, so I do have more of that. I have a lot more of this, I just don't feel like cutting it up. So, let's figure. Whoa, what do we have here? Two and a half from to center, three inch. So, alright. I'll be back when I get it cut up. Alright guys, got the brackets made. Thought I did. Okay, I'm off a little bit. Be back. Alright, now let's try it. That looks like it's going to work. Alright, let's knock off. Let's get rid of heavy weight and the blower is a 
successfully hooked. So, <clears throat> we got the blower hooked, the motor is working, so I think now, since everything's tacked, let's get the motor laid back on it and we'll figure something else out. So, so far that's what it's looking like. And there's plenty of room here. What I need to do Yep, got enough room. Hello guys, what's happening? This is real time. This is October 25th at 5.57. This is real time. I haven't done much to this. I just got back on my feet. Um, I have sli uh, some slight problems. Um, these tires ain't going to work. They're too narrow and they're too tall. Um, post a picture now, what they look like. And we're going to go talk about some money problems on building this. I thought I could do it, but obviously it ain't happening. So, further ado, um, yeah. So we're going to be back 
and we'll talk about this problem. Because these tires are not going to work. They're just too tall, too narrow, they'll sink right in the yard. Because the reason why they ain't going to work is I'm going to bring the pivot point forward so this thing pivots on its back wheels. Most of its weight is going to stay on the back. So the front is light. That way there you can just lean down on the handlebar and move wherever you want to go. The idea was to put the tire right there. The axle right about the center of this plate. But that will cause it uh, not to be able to pivot. So it's going to be forward a little ways. But for ado, let me get back into better mode explain some money problems. <clears throat> Alright guys. Um, up on your screen there's going to be a picture of the tires. Um, so, let me find something to write on. And I got uh, something to write on. So, in front of you there's a picture of the tires. Alright. Um, and I've got to pull it up on my phone because I'm not, I won't see it like you are. Alright. The price of the tires are basically $25 a piece and they are they are a 4 by 4 by 4.10 4 by 4 tire so $25 a piece is what we got so that's 50 bucks for two tires Okay, I'm not worried about the tires right now. That's the least of my worries is getting the tires. Okay, next picture would be um, the uh, smooth rod or the uh, three-quarter inch rod that I need. Okay, that's uh, 12 bucks. All right, and that's for the rod. That's basically the jack shaft to mount the two pulleys on each side. So one one side would be for the PTO and the one side is to run the housing. Alright, next thing you'll see is a pillow block bearing. Uh, I need two of those uh, block. Those are at ten bucks a piece. You need to, two of them that's 20 bucks. Alright, uh, then you're looking at the bearings. Uh, the, those are three quarter inch blocks that need it. And then the bearings are three quarter uh, bearings. And those are 13 bucks a piece. I need times three. Um, so, man, guys, my brain just went blank. Normal with me anymore. Um, that's what I thought. Then thirty-nine dollars there. And then I need another one of those four, four hole uh, flange. Those are ten bucks, just one. I just need one more. Now, now what'd be nice is get one more of these bearings. Yeah, I need, I need, I, I want to get, I would like to get one more. And the bearing I have, put that up for a spare. So we're looking at four. I'd like to get all four new bearings, which is $52. But, 39 is what we're going to call it at. So let me calculate this really this up really quick. So we're looking at, for the rod, 12 plus... For the two power block bearings is 20 plus 39 for the bearings plus 10 for the other block and missing. We're at $81. Let me make sure I did that right. 
So 12, 20, 39, 10. So 12, 20, 39, 10. Yep, we're looking at $81. So, 81, so make that 85 with tax, give or take. Alright, so we're laying $85 just to get the blower to run again. And that ain't including the $50 on top of that. So plus 55 because I forgot to add the, um, and let's clear this. So 85 plus 50, we're looking at 135 out the door is what I'm looking at to get this thing running. So about one, I would say 140. Now, 140, divide that by two, so it'll be 70 bucks if I divide that, if I divide that in half. So this blower is not gonna happen anytime soon. So basically what I got now is a pile of part of parts just laying on a table because I can't do it. There's no way. Not with YouTube. But just just to get the blower to run is eighty five dollars. Unless somebody knows where I can get these parts a whole lot cheaper than what I can get them uptown. But as far as I know, my local Royal King's the cheapest. So that is just an outlook of what's going on with the blower. I don't think I'm going to do it. Now, if by some miracle, if there is, and I know one of my friends is going to do it, would do it, I know one of my friends will do it. And just to let you guys know, um, just give me a second pulling a, a video up. Um, okay, if, if you're watching this video, this is the ending of my of this. Okay, you got the video. Down in this description box, and I am going to move this so you guys will see where it's at. It says, uh, go help me here. I'm going to move that to the top of the page. When you click on that, you'll bring, bring yourself to my main page. Over here, so see over up it says tip jar well it's going to change I'm going to change the saying tip here um, you guys can just click on that link that will open PayPal um, now PayPal can you can donate with PayPal or with the debit credit now I'm just saying, I'm not telling you guys you have to do this, but I have a friend that do, uh, does donate to help this massive uh, bill. So, just to let you guys know what he does, because he does help me a little bit. He don't give me a lot of money, but he does help me get a few parts. Maybe he'll, he'll probably just get... Um, donate uh, 10 bucks for that and probably $13 to get a bearing so I can ha get the blower housing together so that's what he normally does it just he picks what he wants to do and he gra he just does that so that's 20 he'll donate 25 25 bucks to me and I can just go get a bearing housing and bearing plate so <clears throat> yeah and whoever donates uh, to this cause I will have you guys, I will write down your YouTube name 
and I'm going to put your uh, YouTube name on the blower after I paint it. I'm going to put your YouTube name down on it and then uh, every time the a new video comes up I'll have your name on a uh, intro. When the video starts you'll see like uh, it'd be like 10 seconds long or 5 seconds long of all the YouTubers that help donate and then down in the description of the video, well I don't have video up anymore let me pull up video down in here I will put the YouTubers uh, page down in this description box here and we'll put the YouTubers name of all the ones that helped me so you guys can just go down there and find who helped me out alright so I'm going to just end this on a bad note the blower is not going to ha happen anytime soon Alright, catch you guys later. Have fun, peace out, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Well, actually I don't care about the subscribe button, but what I do care is more views on the videos, because that ain't cutting it. So, I'll catch you guys later then. Peace out, have fun.